A WordPress theme is what is going to give your website the look and feel that it has. This is the design to your website. You can certainly create your own theme within WordPress if you know how to code and that is the route that you would like to go. The good news is there are tons of themes available for you and you can find free themes or you can find paid themes and there's advantages and disadvantages to both. Of course, with a free WordPress theme, it's free. That's great. The downside can be that it may not have the best code. It may not be as compatible with some of the other plugins that you may install. Uh, one of the things, especially if, if you are going to be selecting a theme for a client, is that the designer or developer of the theme often places a designed by link in the footer of the website that you cannot remove unless you are paying for the theme. So that's something to keep in mind. A nice part of having a free theme is that if you decide you don't like the look and feel or you just want to try something new, you can swap out your theme very quickly and there's not a lot of expense behind that. On the other hand, you can select a paid theme and the nice part about a paid theme is that they have a lot more functionality added in the back end so it allows you to customize your website without as much coding. They give you a lot more options to edit and you'll also have better support. If you get stuck, you need help with editing anything or there's an error on the website, oftentimes the developers are very good about providing support and answering questions. So there's a lot of places that you can go for, for paid themes like Theme Forest or Elegant Themes. And there's also a lot of places where you can go to get free themes. One of the best places is in the WordPress theme directory where you'll be able to search by your topic and you can see what blogs come up. You can search for colors, you can search for a particular niche and see what comes up. There are also standalone websites like this one that will allow you to browse through different websites and see what you like and you can go in, you can check out the demo and you can add that into your WordPress website. So let's take a look at how to do that. From your dashboard to install a theme you'll go down to appearance and click on themes. One thing to note is once you have a theme installed, you'll come back to this appearance menu and there should be another sub menu here that allows you to further customize that particular theme. So let's take a look at themes. Now you'll notice that there are already several templates installed. WordPress pre-installs some basic templates for you. Now there's a couple of things that you can do here. You can click on wordpress.org themes and this is going to search the WordPress theme directory that we just looked at. So again, if you want to look at, let's say, a business theme, you can search for that here. Now let's say you decide you like business one. You can click in, you can see the details of it, you can see a preview of what your content is going to look like on the site. Now, as you'll see, this preview doesn't match the look here on the left-hand side. That does not necessarily mean the theme is broken. That just means that you haven't added an image. You haven't added in some of the content. So you'll need to go back and customize it to get it to look like the demo does. But let's say I like this one. I can either click install here or going back when I see the one that I like. If I don't want to preview it, I can simply click install. And you'll see how fast this is. It's already installed now once I receive this live preview message. Now I can go ahead and activate the theme. By activating it, that means this is now going to be the live theme on my website. Now I can go back and return to my website and I refresh and there it is. Now that theme is on my website. So as I mentioned, this is very basic, but let me scroll down here and show you. This is, here is the theme is designed by this particular developer. So we can go in and see if the free theme allows us to remove that, but they may ask for you to pay if you would like to have it removed. On the other hand, if you have downloaded a free or a paid theme, you're going to receive a zip file. So what you'll need to do is click on add new and this will allow you to choose the file from your desktop or wherever you've saved it on your computer. 
You'll simply select that and then click Install Now. Installing now, you'll receive the same message that we just saw when we installed the free theme. You can click Activate and you'll be ready to go. Then you'll look over here on the left hand side, you'll see now we have Business One options. Your theme name will be there. You can click on those options and here you'll see a theme dashboard where it's going to allow you to upload a particular logo, a fave icon. I can go through my homepage settings, so where we saw the slider was missing, here is now where I can start adding the slider, the slider, the text for it, and I can save the changes and see those live on my website now. So go ahead and take a few minutes and start looking through the themes. I suggest that you look at both free themes and paid themes and look at the demos for both and see the features that you'll get or will not get based on what you select so you can pick what is best for you or for your particular client if you'll be setting up a website for them.